Hello everyone, this is Her Crabbiness here, and I want to welcome you back to another Let's Play of Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator. This time we're playing Case 6 called uh, Scourge of the Sea People. Like that one. Looks very menacing. But let's continue, or let's start. We haven't started yet. Let's watch the intro. See what Ben Jordan's up to these days. August 1st, 1804. Tonight marks the end of my deception. Tomorrow's dawn will either sink the destruction of this village or my very own. They have taken me in, treated me as a brother, but I cannot go on. Tonight at the ritual, I must prevent innocent blood from being shed. In doing so, I may finally bring- Shh, crap, <laughs> you can read that. I only hope that I survive in order to return to my homeland and family, who I have left behind far too long. May God have mercy on my soul. Marcus Wilkins. Wait a minute, Wilkins? Hmm. Who's there? A gust of wind? Oh, it was only a dream. Man, just when I thought I was done with the nightmares. Well, the bride said it's not about Mary anymore, is it? Morning, Ben. You alright? Yeah, I was just having some kind of nightmare. I don't really remember what it was about, though. Come on, the English weather isn't that bad. At least, it doesn't give me nightmares. Oh yeah, did I thank you for letting Alice and I stay here? That should be me, Ben. Only about 600 times. Anyway, I have good news. Alice had a great idea for a holiday. Is she up for more traveling so soon? She says she's feeling fine now. After all that time in the hospital, I don't blame her for wanting to get away for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Well, I hope she picked some place nice and or warm and sunny. She did. It's a week in Greece. Nice. When do we leave? In two days. Uh, guess I'd better repack then. It's rather sudden. Yeah, I hope you'll be okay with Greece, Ben. You have two days to leave. Go, little plane, go! Across France, across Italy, and headed toward Greece. Ben Jordan in Case 6, Scourge of the Sea People. Although this doesn't sound very menacing, this sounds exciting. Very exciting music we have here. Ah, back on solid ground. You know, for someone who travels the world investigating the paranormal, you'd think you would have gotten used to flying by now. Yeah, you'd think. Come on, guys, forget the flight. We're in Greece. We can finally start enjoying our vacation. And wow, Alice got rather hot all of a sudden. Alice makes a good point. We have a week of sunny days and absolutely no ghosts or ghouls to look forward to. Or so you think. Speaking of which, we really should look in, into we really should look into getting someplace soon. Right. Alice and I will go collect our luggage. Ben, you can be in charge of getting us some transportation into Athens. Huh? Why me? Because you're the resourceful one, mate. See you in a bit. Hey, wait a minute. What if I You guys so oh, look at this run icon. We're an athlete. Let's go run after our friends. I want to come too. Oh, Ben. Simon and Alice are taking care of claiming the bags. Your job is to get transportation to Athens. But I want to go reclaim the bags with Alice too. Well, fine. So let's take a look. Ooh. Look at our toolbar. It's all grease-like. We have the, the foot, which turns into an athlete running. We have a golden eyeball pretty standard. The hand freaks me out. It's like got two thumbs and an eye on its hand. It's a special hand. It's an evil hand of doom. I don't know what's wrong with it. We have an angry looking guy who looks like he's swearing or something or just in shock. And we have the guy going, huh? So chatting, questioning people, regular looking purse, regular looking notebook, save, load, quit, Huh? Anyway. <clears throat> so our first notes are find transportation to Athens. Okay. Do we have anything in our inventory yet? 
Just a notebook. Okay. It's your trusty notepad and pen. They've helped you tremendously through your paranormal investigating career. That they have. Can we feel it? With the- Oh god, I hate this hand so much. The notepad feels well-worn, and the pen feels like plastic. It's very descriptive. But that won't help us find transportation to Athens, I don't think. So what's over here? It's a sign welcoming you to the, welcoming you to the Athens airport. Alright, a small emergency cabinet is set into the wall, which I would like to loot, please. No? You don't want to cause a scene by opening up the emergency cabinet when there is no emergency. It probably sets off an alarm or something. No, you- ooh, you succeed in getting your fingerprints all over the plexiglass pane. Cool. Useless items that we can interact with anyway. I like it. And... what do we have? We, what have we over here? It's a white door that leads someplace official, which is what you gather from the official looking sign on the front. But we can't look at the sign. Okay. Something tells you you'd probably get in trouble if you open that door. You don't want to get on the Greek government's bad side. Just yet. Ooh. Sounds like a challenge to me. But Ben won't do it, because he's a good boy. Aren't you, Ben? Jordan. Ben Jordan. Paranormal investigator. Yes. You take a brief opportunity to scratch the itch that's been bugging you. Darn, I was hoping it would do something different. Oh well. Okay, so the obvious thing in the room... A large woman. A large and frustrated looking woman is standing against the wall. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Let's talk to her. Hi, my name's Ben Jordan. Leave me alone. Not in the mood for chit-chat. Okay. Guess you better ask her questions. Excuse me, would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Eh? Questions? Go ahead, but make it fast. Are you okay? You seem a bit upset. I don't want to talk about it. Um, okay. See you later. Why? What happens later? Ha, ah, that's cute. Well, that was useless. Don't know why he would just randomly talk to her in any anyway, but... That's okay. It's Ben Jordan. What have we here? The sign reads, Calimera Cafe. How atmospheric. And what's up with you? a man wearing a bright red shirt who is standing up or leaning up against the wall. He looks like he's waiting for someone. Maybe he's waiting for me. Hey, baby. Are you okay? It's nothing a good night's sleep can't fix whenever I get one of those. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but yes, I would mind. I've been waiting around trying to get out of this airport for three days, so you have to excuse me if I'm not exactly up for a friendly chat. Come on. Oh, sorry. Not your fault, mate. If I were him, I would totally be in the mood for a friendly chat if I've been waiting around for three days. But that's just me. Let's go to the Calimera Cafe. There's one guy. A tourist. You can spot a tourist from a mile away. This one's American by the looks of it. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Tourist. That's a nice shirt you're wearing. Thanks. It's my lucky traveling shirt. I never fly without it. Oh, boy. Can't really think of anything to ask him right now. Alright, well, all the people here are useless. But let's take some a look at some art. Large painting takes up most of the wall. You can never appreciate abstract art. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Old photograph. Old photograph. Can we take it? No. Don't think vandalizing the cafe by taking down the decorations would be appreciated. No. Oh, you don't even want that painting. Hmm. Alright, well, that was pointless. We need to find some transportation. And we aren't going to do it by lingering around here. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's a restricted area. Huh. On the floor, there's a red border indicating that this is a restricted area. I see. Well, that just beckons me to... Hey! I, I'm telling you to walk there, Ben. Ben! You don't want to get too close. There's no telling what might happen if you step inside the restricted area. I've done that before. All they do is just tell you to back off. 
but that was my experience. Another official looking white door set into the metal wall. It's off limits to the public, you don't want to get in trouble. Ben. You are a troublemaker though. Alright, another person who's probably useless. Oh, it's a woman. The woman standing by the exit. She appears to be waiting for someone. I wonder if she's waiting for, like, the guy over there. That would be funny if they were waiting there for three days. Hi. Hi. Are you waiting for someone? The woman shrugs and shakes her head. She must not speak English. Guess not. Unless she's lying and just doesn't want to talk to us. It's no use trying to talk with her. She doesn't speak her language. Fine. Fine, I can take a hint. Let's get out of here. Alright, another waiting person. Oh, taxi driver. Is this a taxi? Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Doesn't look like he'd be very receptive to a friendly chat. Okay, fine. Ask about your taxi. Uh, excuse me. Who? Huh? What you want? <clears throat> is that your taxi over there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is my taxi. You tell me where you want to go, I take you there faster than you say. Me. Oh, God. Me. Messy what? Messy corite. It means excuse me in Greek. Oh, I thought you said something else. So, where do you want to go? We go any place as long as it's not Athens. What? That's where we're going. Why won't you go to Athens? Because today is Polytechneo. I don't go to Athens on this day. Why not? Because there are demonstrations of students all over the place. I don't like it. Aren't there any other taxis you could call? No, it's not just me. Everyone who works at the airport stays out of Athens today. What about buses? You just missed the last one of the day. This is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Well, you either wait in the airport until tomorrow, or you go somewhere else that is not Athens. Gee, thanks. Oh, I think we just earned ourselves one point. Cool. Is taxi driving a good job? Oh, sure. Lots of people need taxi. Some tourists give good tips, others not so much. But I make enough to support family. Goodbye. Oh, that was rather abrupt. Wait, waste bin. A small, empty waste bin. It's nice to see that the airport cleaning staff are doing their job. Aw, oh, the bin is empty. Well, at least he tried. Can we steal the cab? No. Alright, fine. It was worth a try. Well, mission failed. Sorry, buddies. So the moral of this story is never travel to Greece, because this is what will happen. Nobody will talk to you, and uh, yeah. So... Aw oh, man. Well, I wonder what we should do in the meantime, but I think I will stop the video here for now, since... I don't know. I think this is just a good time to stop. I'm not going to record, like, hour-long videos or anything. So, I will see you guys next time, and hopefully we will get more than one out of 107 points. And we will get transportation, or at least figure out something to do. Bye for now, and thanks for watching.